implemented today. They'll probably come out and condemn these remarks. Maybe they'll throw a misinformation label. And then presumably everything will just move on. I'm not saying that that's what it should be, but that's what's happened in the past with Joe Rogan. Yeah, can you talk a little bit just quickly about that because you said they'll just throw up a, a label on it. That's what happens, like these streaming sites now uh, where you, you know, have to pay for the site. There's sort of the wild, wild west where you can say what you want. There are no standards and practices, and really you don't have to answer to anyone. So basically, I, this probably will not hurt Joe Rogan, and everyone will just sort of move on from this. It's definitely not going to hurt Joe Rogan. It's not going to hurt Spotify. They do. This is pretty funny. Like, this, nobody cares about this. No one. As though. You know what everyone cares about, though? The fucking goat, okay? When you're at the top, when you're at the motherfucking top of your industry, of your vertical, of your sector, a lot of haters come after you. But moments like this show that you are demonstrably the best. Of course, I'm talking about the GOAT, LeBron James. Now, a lot of you in the chat immediately are saying La Fraud, La Mickey Mouse Rings, saying stuff like La Bum, saying things along the lines of fucking La Mau, okay? La Bisexual, one of my favorites. Doesn't matter. LeBron James is La GOAT, okay? He is. You can cry all you want, but he has now officially broken uh, the record for most NBA points scored last night. Let's take a look. Lower were written for King James himself. That's right. The all-time scoring leader. That's yes. where we're beginning, aren't we? That's Perfect where song. we go. Perfect we start with the NBA's new all-time scoring leader. How does that sound? The king Good. himself, LeBron James. <laughs> he scored 38 points last night in Los Angeles to beat the record that Kareem Abdul-Jabbar held for nearly 40 years. The Lakers legend was there to congratulate James. Carter Evans takes us through the historic night. One goat to the next, LeBron dude. LeBron James, a shot in history. LeBron stands alone. In front of a packed, star-studded crowd that included his wife and two sons, the kid from Akron made history yet again. LeBron fires a three. That one's good. Surpassing the captain, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar in all-time scoring, one Lakers left. Bro, why'd they zoom in on his face like he's supposed to be sad? That's kind of fucked up to do to Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, too, who is a goat in his own in his own right. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> they're scoring. like, look what? at how sad Kareem is, bro. The kid from Akron made history yet again. They're like, look, oh, look at that. Look at that zoom. Fires a three. That one's good. Surpassing the captain, Kareem. Yeah, look, he's sad, bro. He's sad. It's like, come on, you didn't have to do that. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar in all-time scoring. One Lakers legend passing the torch to another. From the very start of the game, every moment LeBron had the ball, the crowd went through the roof. James lays it in. The fierce competitor becoming a ball of emotions after making that historic shot. To my beautiful wife, my daughter, my two boys, man, everybody that's ever been a part of this. I just want to say I thank you so much because I wouldn't be me without y'all. All y'all help. I would never, ever in a million years uh, dreamt this even better than what it is tonight. So, man, thank you guys. He fucking deserves it. Shut up. Shut up. He deserves it. You know, he planned it on coming out of high school and he, he came all the way through. He had talent and class and determination. After the game, Shaquille O'Neal pressed LeBron on whether he can now call himself the greatest of all time. Uh, you know, I'm going to let everybody else, uh, you know, decide who that is or just. That's the go behavior. That's go behavior. He didn't even say it. He didn't even say it. He said, I'll let my career speak for itself, which is cool because he, his career does speak. You know what it says? It says, bah. okay. Cause why? Cause he's the fucking goat. It's talk true. about it, but it's great. It's great barbershop call, uh, talk. I'm gonna take myself <laughs> against anybody that's ever played this game, you know. But everyone's gonna have their favorite. And for a player who couldn't legally drink for his first two seasons in the league, on this night, King James Chalice is full. We drinking some good vino tonight. What was once thought is an unbreakable. La humble king. I mean, record has just been broken by 38-year-old LeBron James. Wow. Wow. What a moment. And he was 38. 38. He's 38 years old and scored 38 At points. 38,000. That's huge. Life, big, life big, he's big. got left to live in already. He's a big milestone. My main concern here. Fake digital comedians are getting banned for trans jokes. Oh, my God, dude. Ben Shapiro defends not even real transphobia, but, like, fake transphobia. Which, I listened to that joke over and over again. Before we get to Ben Shapiro's take on the the... 
the AI uh, comedy thing. I do want to talk about. I do want to talk about this. Ben Shapiro came after. At least with this. Then you have this dickhead tweeting last night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He he said thirty eight thousand three hundred eighty eight points, zero morals, zero values. 